Hello, I'm Rebecca Inman, and I've chosen exam prompt 4-2C. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating a hypothetical developmental network in a spiny beetle's ectoderm cells. The hypothetical developmental network consists of genes S, P, I, K, and E, which result in protein production that leads to a spike, or no such protein production and thus no spike. If a cell has a mutant P gene, This gene product will not be able to stimulate production of the I product. In turn, the I product cannot block the K gene. The active K product will inhibit transcription of E's product, ending in no spike protein production. If all of the beetle's ectoderm cells had a mutant P gene, it would be totally smooth. If a cell has a mutant I gene, this gene product will not be able to inhibit production of the K product. Again, the active K product will inhibit transcription of E's product, ending in no spike protein production. If all of the beetle's ectoderm cells had a mutant I gene, it would be totally smooth. If a cell has both mutant I and E genes, the I gene product will not be able to inhibit the K gene product from blocking the E gene's transcription. Even if the mutant E gene is not blocked by the K product, it will still result in improper spike protein structure. This beetle would be smooth if all its ectoderm cells have mutant I and E genes. If a cell has mutant S and K genes, the S product will not stimulate production of the P product, which will in turn not stimulate production of the I product. Normally, this chain of events would end with the K gene product freely inhibiting the E gene from being transcribed. But this cell has a mutant K gene too. So a beetle with all mutant S and K genes in its ectoderm cells would be very spiky indeed. I hypothesize that the cells that are smooth have a mutated S, P, and or I gene, ultimately resulting in no inhibition of K's transcription. Also, smooth cells can have a mutated E gene which produces the wrong protein for spike production. In spiky cells, there is either a complete developmental network or a mutated K gene whose product cannot inhibit transcription of a wild type E gene. Here are my sources. All graphics in this presentation were made by me using free illustration software. Thanks for watching.